guys, welcome back to our channel, Foodimentary Adventures in Food. My name is Andrea and I am here today with one of my very favorite simple recipes, crock pot macaroni and cheese. All you need are four ingredients, which are two cans of evaporated milk. Now you could use regular milk, but it's just not the same. Definitely recommend using evaporated milk. You'll need some elbow macaroni. You'll also need some I prefer, I prefer actually the bricks of um, cheddar cheese, not the already shredded cheddar cheese. Um, so you'll need two eight ounce bricks of cheddar cheese. Um, I personally prefer extra sharp, so that's what I'm using. But if you prefer mild or medium, that works too. Now, the reason I recommend using the bricks and not the already shredded is because the shredded cheese has stuff in it, binders and things like that, and it just doesn't melt the same. And then you'll also need two eggs. Now, the crock pot macaroni and cheese is more of a baked or custard type macaroni and cheese. So if you're looking for a creamy stovetop texture, this is not that macaroni and cheese. This is more of a traditional baked macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to shred up the cheese and then I'm going to cook two cups of dry pasta and then I'll be back to show you how I put everything together. Okay guys, I am back. So in this pot, I have my two cups of elbow macaroni and um, <clears throat> all I did was season the water, water with salt because I'm not going to be adding additional salt to this recipe. The cheese is gonna add enough saltiness. So I have the pasta in here and I drained it, but I did not rinse it. And also it's cooked al dente because it's gonna continue to cook in the crock pot. And so now I'm going to add my two cans of evaporated milk You just pour it in. And like I said, if you don't want to use evaporated milk, you don't have to, but this does make the recipe even more creamy. So there are my two cans. And now I'm going to add in my grated cheese. As you can see, those two blocks or two bricks of cheese made a awful lot. So I'm going to add most of it in to the to the um, to the cheese. I'm sorry, to the pasta and milk, and the other part portion I'm going to add on top. So I'm just going to add in half of it right now, actually a little more than half. So I'm adding in a little bit. I'm going to mix it. And then add in a little bit more. It's gonna be a very cheesy macaroni and cheese. So that's about 75% of the cheese in there. And the last thing that I'm gonna add are my two eggs. Now, I know some people just crack eggs directly into um, you know, their bowl or their pot or whatever when they're cooking. I always crack my eggs separately for a couple of reasons. Um, it seems like, I don't know why I have greater odds than anyone else, but it seems like I always get a dirty egg. Um, that's what we call them growing up is when the egg may have a little bit of blood in it or you know something else um, which I don't like that so I always crack my eggs separately and then I always take out that little white thing I don't know what it's called but I just personally don't like it I know it doesn't cause any harm but it's just a personal preference okay so I have everything mixed in the pot and I am going to add this to my crock pot and I have lightly sprayed my pot, my crock pot about halfway up. Now, ordinarily I would use a cooking bag, but since there's so much cheese in here, I found that when I do it in a cooking bag, all the cheese sticks to the bag. So I just spray a crock pot and um, add in the mixture. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in my mixture carefully. And then I'm going to top it with the remaining cheese. 
And you're gonna cook this on low for three hours or two and a half. I would check it at the two and a half hour mark. There you go. Looks good already. So I'm just going to cover this and cook this on low for two and a half to three hours and I'll be back and show you the finished product. So here is the macaroni and cheese. I did cook it on low for three hours. I wasn't sure if I was gonna bake it for or cook it for two and a half or three hours and it needed a little bit more time so it was cooked for three hours. I just took the cover off. You can still hear it bubbling. See how golden brown it is. Yummy, yummy. So I am going to plate this up and show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, so here is the final product. I scooped it out of the crock pot and I plated it up for you guys. And as you can see, um, it is a custard baked macaroni. It's not the creamy variety. Um, tons and tons of cheese and it's really good. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. And please make sure to share, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.